Hey guys, it's Jeremy. I'm back today with my first fragrance review. The fragrance we're going to go ahead and review today is one of my favorite fragrances. It's Dolce Cabana's The One. The parfumé on this is Olivier Polk. He's done quite a few other things. I still think this is his masterpiece. Um, bottle sizes that this comes in is a 1.6, which is roughly $62, a 3.3, which is $82 and a 5 ounce, which is $105. Uh, you can probably find those prices a little bit cheaper other places. I do know Parfumania um, has those uh, prices a little bit lower. The bottle on this is a really nice, thick, heavy duty bottle. Very classy bottle. It reminds me of a whiskey, um, kind of brandy type of bottle. Uh, the serial number on this is going to be, you probably can't see it because of the lighting, but it's uh, right there. Uh, yeah, you really can't see it. And on the box, the um, serial number is right there. There again, you can't see it because of the lighting. I apologize. Uh, the notes on this, uh, your top notes are going to be coriander, basil, and grapefruit. Your mid notes are going to be ginger orange blossom, cardamom, and your base notes are amber, cedar, and tobacco. Uh, this scent, it's its a very sexy smell. If I can use one word to describe this fragrance, it is sexy. Uh, it's kind of a boozy, woody, um, mature scent. Uh, it comes off as someone when you wear this, I picture someone very confident, um, successful, um, I do get some musk off of this, but it's still a very playful, it's a very playful, very sexy uh, fragrance. Uh, a lot of people refer to this as a winter uh, fragrance. I don't see that at all. I don't know if they're just getting that from the notes. It sticks a little light. It sticks kind of close to your skin, um, so I, I wouldn't consider it really a uh, winter fragrance. I do wear this year-round. I love the smell of it. Um, in the winter, I will apply it, you know, several times throughout the day because it does uh, it does keep a little bit close to your skin, especially in the winter. Um, a lot of people have complained about longevity issues um, and projection issues. I do see that. I get roughly four to six hours off of this fragrance. The projection is okay, okay to pour. Uh, I like I said, I don't get really good projection. And that's just me, and I know that because I have drier skin than what most people probably do. Um, so obviously, if you have oilier skin or if you have drier skin, that's going to affect the longevity of your and the projection of your fragrance. Um, like I said, though, this is just a very sexy smell. I definitely smell. I, I can definitely smell the ginger and the basil in this and the grapefruit. Um, the cardamom does come out, um, and I definitely get the tobacco in this. Um, but like I said, it, if it's it's a very much of a boozy, woody, mature, sexy smell. Um, like I said, I get a lot of compliments on this. I don't picture this as a fragrance that you're going to wear to go out to a club. This is more of a date night fragrance, something you'd want to wear when you're going out with your significant other, your girlfriend, whatever, your wife. Um, it's a very sexy smell. It sits close to your skin a little bit more than what most fragrances do. I love it though. I absolutely love it. I love the spices in it. It kind of reminds me, I do smell a lot of the ginger and the tobacco. Um, reminds me kind of like a, kind of like a gingerbread man. Uh, I know some, one of the other uh, reviews I saw on, on here referred to it as a gingerbread man as well. And I do get that. But it's just a very sexy smell. And this is going to always be in my collection. When I run out of this, I will be getting the five ounce only because it's like a hundred bucks. I, you know, you really can't beat that. Uh, it, and with how much I use this, you know, I, I do apply a lot of it throughout the day because I don't get great longevity or great projection off of this. So I will carry a decant with me and I will apply this several times throughout the day. Um, I don't think you can over spray on this. I spray it, um, I usually spray it on my, on the inside here, on both sides. I'll spray it bottom of my neck and then your shoulder pits right up here. Back of my neck I'll usually hit or behind the ears, sometimes with my hair. Um, I got the hair idea from Drag Doc. Good idea, thanks. Um, I, but I love this. I love the smell. Um, 
Um, I would definitely think this is one that you should definitely buy. Um, I think everybody would pretty much like the smell. Uh, it's a great blind buy there again. I get a lot of compliments on it. Women seem to love this. Um, I know Mike Miggers, he does his panty dropper one. I know this is not in his panty dropper list as far as I remember. But for me, this would be a panty dropper in a heartbeat. Uh, I get a lot of compliments on it. I know I've said that time and time again. Definitely check this one out. Uh, this here is, like I said, the 3.3. .3. Uh, I got this from Macy's for roughly $82. Uh, pardon everything, this is my first video on fragrances, so still getting used to the whole review aspects of it. I would rate this an 8 out of 10. I'm going to use the 10 point scale. I'd rate this an 8 out of 10. Uh, even though it's my favorite fragrance, I can't give it a full 10 because of the longevity and the projection issues that I get per personally. I think if Dolce Gabbana would correct the the longevity and projection issues, I think this, this would hit number one on a lot of people's list. Um, like I said, I just keep reapplying it. I have no problem reapplying it. I don't think it gets cloy after I reapply it. But uh, age group on this, I wouldn't recommend this for younger people, for teenagers. I think this is definitely a 21 and over fragrance due to the fact that it is a more mature, sexy, successful type of scent. I will wear this year round. I'll wear this with jeans and a t-shirt. I'll wear it with a suit and tie. I think it fits all of those occasions. Definitely a going out to dinner, bar with your significant other, something where you're going to be close with a woman. Um, great smell though. Highly recommend this. Definite buy. Um, like I said, the only reason I don't think a lot of people would like this is because it does sit a little closer to the skin. And I've seen a lot of people complain about longevity and projection issues. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of it. It's great. Uh, like I said, I have, this is my second bottle of this. I will be getting a third bottle. I'm going to go to the five ounce once I get rid of this one. I've used, I've had this bottle about a month. I've already used a little bit of juice on that. Um, like I said, second bottle. So five ounces definitely going to be needed to be added to my collection. Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks for taking the time to watch my reviews. I want to say thank you to everybody that has watched my first video. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on that, um, a lot of encouragement. I really, really appreciate that. Like I said, this is my second video. Um, so it's, it's you know, I've never reviewed anything before. So it's really good to get positive feedback and have the encouragement from others to uh, continue to do reviews. So thank you very, very much. That. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe below. Uh, have a great evening. Bye-bye.